every single Canadian wants to see less gun violence and safer communities. So today, we take another big step forward. Thirty years from now, an entire generation of Canadians will remember exactly where they were on Sunday, April 18th, 2020. They will remember how their sense of safety was shaken, how their outlook on the world was forever changed. They will remember the day that they lost some of their innocence. This chapter in our history cannot be rewritten, but what happens next is up to us. We can stick to thoughts and prayers alone, or we can unite as a country and put an end to this. We can decide together that enough is enough. Today's announcement builds on the things we did during our first term. It's the next step. And there is more work ahead to implement this and pass legislation to further strengthen our laws. I've already spoken with the other parliamentary leaders, and I know that we will be able to work together and do even more to keep Canadians safe. People from coast to coast have been clear, we cannot risk another shooting at a school, or a place of worship, or another attack on police officers, or on women, or on innocent Canadians anywhere in this country. Banning assault-style firearms will save Canadian lives. For decades, chiefs of police, advocacy groups, grieving families, and everyday Canadians have been calling for a ban of these types of firearms, guns that were designed for soldiers to kill other soldiers, and not for recreational purposes. Guns that belong on a battlefield, and not on our streets. Guns that were designed to kill people. They were intended in their purpose to kill people. And they have been used in Canada to kill innocent people. And for decades, Canadians have been calling upon successive governments for reform, for stronger gun control. And we have listened. And today we are taking action. As of today, the market for assault weapons in Canada is closed. It's important to celebrate who we are at all times and not give in to hatred or fear. When times are tough, Canadians come together. That is who we are.